Yeah, so that happened. I think this is going to be possibly the most exciting episode of Battle News there's been so far, guys. It's it's absolutely mental. I was at the EA press conference earlier, and of course they waited right until the end to show BF4, and oh my god, them trailers, all that information. It's just so epic, guys. This video isn't going to be like a crazy analysis video like, oh, did you see that pixel of grass? It's not going to be like that. It's just things that you may have missed if maybe you haven't seen the other trailers like the Levolution trailer and the Premium trailer. And also some uh, interesting snippets of news that are on the BF websites and uh, things that have been said. So let's crack on. Let's do this. First off, I think that's the first time that we've heard the Battlefield 4 main theme. I love it. It's got a bit of a new age retro techno feel. It's baller, basically. They had a bit too much bass on at the conference and you couldn't really hear the theme, but when I got back to my hotel room and I watched the trailer on my laptop, it's really good. I'm digging it. Boats have TV missiles now. What's what's that about? I didn't know a boat could fire a TV missile, but there you go. Boats, explosions, GG. We also see here a catastrophic kill bonus. I'm not entirely sure what this is, it hasn't really been talked about, but I'm thinking maybe it's when you get more kills than a multi-kill. So in BF3, if you get a multi-kill, that's four kills in quick succession. Um, so I'm guessing that a catastrophic kill bonus, it sounds terrible, doesn't it? It's like, like genocide or something. I think a catastrophic kill bonus is going to be more than four people killed in a short space of time. So that's interesting. Another little detail you might not have noticed, but a lot of people will appreciate, and that's the field of view of the jets. So as you can see, it's massive. There's a lot of view space there, much bigger than in BF3. And this is a request that a lot of jet pilots in BF3 have had. Because if you remember the BF3 Caspian border trailer, the jets in that had like a really wide field of view, and they just looked epic. But then when the game came out, uh, the field of view in the jets is quite small and you can't really see much, but hopefully they're going to keep the field of view like we can see in this uh, new BF4 trailer, which is incredible. We also found out, of course, that the new map is called Paracel Storm. So that's the island map that we talked about in the video. Also, the new game mode shown after the uh, the revolution kicks in and the storm starts. So that's the dynamic weather. That looks incredible. And this is called Obliteration Mode. Uh, we called it right yesterday. Well, the name at least. The game mode is a bit similar to what we thought it was going to be, but it's different. It's actually going to be uh, one bomb spawning at a random location on the map, and then you can use that against an enemy target or an enemy NCOM. So, you've got to destroy your enemy's targets using the bombs before they destroy yours. Uh, and the catch is that the bombs are placed in a central zone, and it's, it's a race to pick it up, and it's always like a random location. That game mode sounds very interesting and I'm actually going to get to play that this week which is awesome, really looking forward to getting my hands on that. Now this clip here, this is the M82A3 50 cal sniper rifle. I couldn't really talk about this in the alpha, this thing was in the alpha and it was overpowered as hell, don't tell anyone. But basically this thing does damage to vehicles, so like the jet skis, the jeeps, even attack helicopters, okay. It's a proper 50 cal sniper rifle and you could take down attack helicopters uh, in the alpha with this thing pretty easy. But the catch is, it's not a weapon that you can deploy with. Um, scattered around the levels, there are these little briefcases and you can run up and pick up the briefcase and in it, you might find one of these 50 cal sniper rifles, you might find like a grenade launcher, but they've got limited ammo and they can't be resupplied. Or well, that's the way it was in the alpha. Anyways, I don't know if they're planning on changing that. Anyway, we see him get that nice shot on the guy on the uh, the jet ski there. And some people were questioning this, like, do the sniper rifles have range finding? Because as, as you may know, the sniper rifle is now zeroing in, so you can dial in the distance that adjusts the scope, so it's pretty easier to shoot over longer distances. Anyway, you can see there that it's sort of like got the range of the target and it's changing. Me personally, I think that that's just a feature of that 50 cal sniper rifle, the M82A3, because it's like a special sniper rifle in the game. The normal sniper rifles, from what I can remember, playing in the Alpha and playing at E3 back in June, they don't have a rangefinder on. You have to use the PLD, which is the Personal Laser Designator, I think it stands for. And that's this thing that the recon gets. It's basically a portable soft lamp. You can equip it, 
right click to put it up to your face and then you can check the distances of things and then zero your sniper rifle for like a more accurate shot so i think that that is just a feature of the 50 cal sniper rifle but i'm sure we'll find out this week we've also got plenty of other new weapons in there we've got the ace 21 cqb the ak-12 the mg4 the G36C, which obviously was in BF3, it just makes you uh, return. We also saw the M200 Intervention Sniper Rifle. This is otherwise known as the Chaytac Intervention. Now this is an American bolt action sniper rifle. It's a 50 cal and it's a seven round detachable single stack magazine. Now this is quite a modern sniper rifle. I think it was produced in 2001 and it's capable of ranges up to 2,500 yards, which makes it one of the longest ranges of all modern day sniper rifle so it's really cool to see that in the game and it just looks balling out of control like why wouldn't you want to use that we also saw the utas uts 15 and the cbj ms i'm not going to show you pictures of all these because i'm not like that clued up on guns but apparently they were all in there who can forget the ship as well the the destroyer the warship whatever that is maybe there's like a player triggered event that causes the storm i think it could be like when you knock over those uh wind turbines thingies in the sea maybe that decides to start a storm i don't know but it sort of appeared that way from the trailer and then the the destroyer crashes and then you might miss this but it sounds like when the ship crashes into the land you can actually get on it and you can use the anti-air guns on that ship so i don't know when that happens is it going to turn into like a, a conquest point and it's going to be like a massive hot spot on the map to control that so you can then control the enemy jets so your jets can do more damage i just don't know but it's absolutely crazy that that is happening live in a multiplayer game one final thing i want to switch on from the multiplayer trailer so at one point we see this enemy targeted team member now we've seen something about this before and i've actually talked about it in a video briefly my understanding of this is that if there's a player on the enemy team and they're just going sick and they're on a massive kill streak killing everyone being a real problem the commander has the option to like highlight them for his team so it would put like a 3d mark on your on, on your screen or like a mark on your minimap to say this guy is like a high priority target you need to go and take him out and i think that's the first time we've seen that in a trailer so that's pretty neat there is loads of stuff in that trailer of course at the end we get to see the sneak peek of china rising and looks like lots of jungle warfare maps going on there and then the shadow of some sort of massive Chinese stealth bomber. I'm not that clued up on jets and planes, so I've got no idea what that is, but it looks like Megatron or something. Okay, so whatever that thing is, and maybe it's a bomber. Who knows? Maybe we're gonna get bombers back in BF4. That'd be so cool. So aside from the multiplayer trailer, we also got to see a premium trailer and a Levolution trailer. Uh, these were just as good and packed full of information. The premium one only had a few bits that I care about. Battlefield 4 Premium is going to cost $49.99 and it includes 5 expansion packs, 2 weeks early access and 12 bonus battle packs. In the premium trailer we actually get glimpses of the 4 maps that are going to be remade for the second Assault DLC for BF4. So if you don't know they're taking some classic BF maps and remaking them on BF4 with Levolution in mind, so they're going to be crazy. And we can see Operation Metro, Operation Firestorm, Caspian Border, and Gulf of Oman. And we only get little clips of these, but uh, it looks at one point like the floor in Operation Metro is going to be destructible. Also, Operation Firestorm is at night time now, and uh, the fire coming up, that looks so cool. Uh, Caspian Border, maybe the, the tower is going to have like a big impact on the map and just split it into cause some sort of epic divide. And then, of course, we've got the Gulf of Oman, which is a classic battlefield map. Looking forward to checking that out. Levolution trailer was... Amazing, absolutely loved it. The bit with the grenade and the train, he throws the grenade in there and shuts the door and the guy screams, that's so cool. When the guy shoots the fuse box and the lights go out and then he switches to the night vision scope and takes out a couple of guys. And then the dam, just look at the size of that dam. It looks absolutely huge. So this looks like a player driven scripted event and it starts off as a dry level. You can see that they're running around. At one point you can see that there's a bike as well. They're, they're going through the streets on a bike. So dirt bikes are back, guys. Yay, that's great. And then all of a sudden the dam explodes, shit gets real, rubble flies everywhere, and the level floods. And then you can go around on boats, because why not? Okay, Battlefield 4 has just gone, yeah, okay, 
yeah, sounds cool. Let's do it. Why not? A couple of other little snippets of news that I'm really excited about. And these are only on the website. There's no footage of these, but there's some rumours going around that there might be another announcement during Gamescom about this. So on the website, we see a Diffuse game mode. And in the description it says, Diffuse is an all new competitive game mode with attackers and defenders. Built for tight combat and quick gameplay. Die and you won't respawn until the next round. Right. That sounds like an esports mode to me. Small maps, small players. When you die you have to wait till the next round. That's definitely like a Counter-Strike inspired search and destroy thing going on there. And I'm sure that we're going to see much more of that. And I'm pretty confident that that is an esports mode or some sort of esports mode that DICE are going to try and push for BF4. Either way, that's incredible. And I can't wait to check that out. Thanks, DICE. You're great. Finally, they announced when the beta for BF4 is going to start. So that's October the 1st. And open beta starts on October the 4th. The beta period will end October the 15th. And Siege of Shanghai is going to be the map. So who can access the BF4 beta? So there's several ways to get into the beta. You can do it by pre-ordering the BF4 Digital Deluxe Edition, uh, by being a BF3 Premium Member, and by being a registered owner of Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition or the Digital Deluxe Edition. So there's loads of ways to get into the beta. I'm sure most of you watching this video will qualify for one of those and, and probably already have access to it when it comes out in October. One other thing, you can destroy bridges now. That's pretty damn cool. I'm over at Gamescom at the moment. I got my schedule from EA today and they've booked me in for so much BF4 play and capture time. Like I'm playing the game pretty much every day and capturing it on three different days. So I'm gonna get a lot of time to play Conquest and the new game mode, uh, capture it, record it, put footage up for you guys. I should have brand new exclusive BF4 footage on my channel tomorrow. I've got my first capture session tomorrow. So. I'm going to spend a lot of time around developers and I'm going to have the opportunity to interview people now. I've asked this before, but if you guys want to know something that we don't know already, is there a burning question that you have? Let me know. It could be about the game. It could be something you want to know. I'll play the game. I'll ask the developers and I'll try and find out for you. I'm thinking about making a thread on the BF4 subreddit. So I'll put a link in the description when I've done that. It might not be straight away. But if you can come on there, leave your comments, leave me your questions. Also leave questions in this YouTube video. I'll be reading all the comments. Don't worry, I'll check everything out. And I'll just try and get all the information, guys. Literally, all the news, I can get it. Don't worry. That's all for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you check out all the trailers on the official Battlefield YouTube page. They're all on there. They're really cool. DICE just make the best trailers. It's as simple as that. Right, I'm going to go get some sleep now, guys. Leave me a rating and a comment. See you tomorrow.